Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the Perpetual Randomizer. You guys kind of said in the YouTube comments that you wanted me to re-roll the Spartan Company and the Red Adder. No elite mercenaries for me, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, I guess that's what we'll do. Let's uh, see what the new options are. On Belshear, our option is... The Parasitic Scantipede. And then our Tarsonus, our option is... <laughs> okay. Parasitic Scantipede time. I don't... <laughs> so, uh, I've been thinking about something. I am turning these random attack waves off. I think that if we are going to continue to go for the fun units, we cannot deal with them. They're a bit too much. Also, we're going to get the gas turret because that's what people wanted. So, uh, I think that we have to pick either between going for the good units like the elites and having the random attack waves on, or going for the parasitic scantipede and having the attack waves off. And honestly, I would prefer to go for the parasitic scantipede. <laughs> so we'll see what we got here. What do you do, my friend? Let's get you guys mining first and then... You are a 20 damage, 1 attack, 5 range, 2 speed... Okay, so 10 DPS, not great. Air and ground units. That is all I need. It doesn't have any passives, but I think it's the one that does, like, the Corpse or Roach thing, right? Uh, I think so. So, let's get some Prometheus. I think we're going to go Prometheus, Scantipede, and Corpse or Roach, and hopefully they stack with the Corpse or Roach. I don't know if they will, but that's, uh, that'd be really good. I can't really afford an add-on right now in these early stages. That's one of the reasons the Promethean... And just for that debuff it applies. I love being able to hit air. That is really nice. These are light. That is interesting. 300 HP is really good too. No base armor. And they're huge. <laughs> they, uh, I keep talking about how all the critters are very big. But this is the very biggest of the very big critters, isn't it? So, uh, well, very biggest so far. <laughs> so we'll see exactly how many of these we can actually get firing. However... Now that I think about it, this is pretty good against the Void Ray, isn't it? Think about it. The Void Ray <laughs> is the anti-armored charge-up guy. It's going to be garbage against the Scantipede. We may have actually hit something very nice here. That is interesting and cool. So yeah, Corpser, Promethean Company to burn things, and hopefully the Scantipede spawns little dudes as well. And we might be cooking with gas here, I'm not so sure but I am willing to give it a go. And of course we have the Ursodons. So these are Goliath replacement twos, which means that we can get really big mercenary ones. <laughs> Just needlessly huge mercenary scantipedes, which I am totally down for. I'm apparently a scantipede enthusiast and I had no idea. All right, they're going to hit us with stuff. We can get our defensive formation. The Kodos must be protected. Honestly, that looks kind of cool. Why are you all rotating? It was such a cool formation. Man, I look like an AI. If ChatGPT had a composition, it would look like this. Okay, we do have to get some attack upgrades on the Scantipede. 20 damage is not bad, it's just slow. Two attack speed is real bad. However, I'm very happy with the Prometheus companies, and these are little Scanta boys and girls that do not do much damage. We're gonna go win Scant. Oh. <laughs> well, that didn't work. <laughs> Time for war number two. This is where the scouts appear, right? There's like three of them. Okay. Man, Wings of Liberty, you just don't notice how much air there is until you play with no anti-air. And then you're just like, wow, okay. Sure. I guess that's what we're doing. These are not good against air. I'm just gonna, <laughs> gonna throw that out there. Definitely pretty wimpy in comparison, but... uh they are what they are, and I'll take it. I want to point out that uh, if we had the attack waves on, we would be dead. 
Like, straight up, I'm pretty sure they would have killed us already. Or we'd be in really bad shape. Like, I, I'm... If people really, really want them to be on, I will listen. However, I do feel pretty confident with my decision making right now. We're gonna have to grab vehicle weapons for the Scantipedes. Oh, you're not vehicle weapons. And then we'll get some roach going. Everybody costs a lot of gas in this universe. And I think that we're going two racks, one factory. Roach, Prometheus, Scantipede. As you do. Because, let's be honest, the Fire Bat and its equivalents are basically honorary critters anyway in terms of power level. So I think that's fine. You're gonna target this guy down. Perfect. Man, what did I tell you about the number of flyers? It is just ridiculous. There's so many of them. And we really are having a size issues. Hopefully these roaches in front will help out. Oh, these kill speeds are bad too. Oh, I am feeling a little bit concerned. But, uh, let's try to work with this. Do we grab the expansion? I think we need all the money we can get. Big macro energy just seems to be the way to win this. Uh, uh, or it's basically like Zerg without Kerrigan. Or God, why is there so much air in StarCraft? My goodness. How do they have two different upgrades <laughs> for an air attack? What is happening? <laughs> This mod's weird. <laughs> oh, sure. Well, supplies going up. I'm going to let them have that one. Need a little bit more here. If I could get these war pigs out, I think we'd be ready to go. Uh, maybe we got to go before that. I don't know. No, no, no. We'll wait. There we go. Get the vehicle plating, because apparently they will target us down anyway, like the scantipedes. So we gotta make sure that they are not dying to scouts. And then away we go! Two void rays. Oof. Get him! Get him! By the way, uh... The Mitoscarab says it hits air, but it doesn't, right? We learned that? I think we learned that, but I'm gonna make one, because I'm second-guessing myself now. I'm pretty sure that it wasn't hitting air when we used it. Upgrade. It's, uh, attack said hits ground, but the tooltip says hits ground and air. Let's, uh, we're gonna double-check, though. Yeah. Darn. The one thing that no one cared about before me. <laughs> so it never got fixed. <laughs> we have a base, though. We have money. We're gonna deal with this. We're gonna keep producing on this side. And hopefully we are prepared to save this area. I like these are spawning guys off of buildings. That's cool. Would have been really useful in the last mission. I guess, uh, corpses were doing that, too. They are so bulky. It is... They are not dying. They don't even have that armor upgrade yet. There's a lot of little dudes. Let's just clear out these areas, make sure that we can deal with the ceiling attempts. I don't remember where the next ceiling attempt is, but I feel like it's in the middle, because that's uh, where they have not been yet. Oh, neat. I love you too. Jerk. <laughs> well, I just, I love making SCVs so much, so thank you for this opportunity. I 
I think my roaches just keep dying, but that's okay. It's it, They're doing their job. We just have to keep remaking them. Scantipedes are kind of living. Oh, they're way over there. They can have that. We can grab this, 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 and then these four. That seems good. So we're going to go over here instead. Let's get a couple defensive cannons. And then a sensor tower. And keep it up. This area is not that well defended, and we are going to go all the way up here for the very first one, because I've said this before, but there's a little secret on this mission where they never contest your first ceiling attempt. So if you do it somewhere a little bit risky, they don't they don't care. They're not going to stop you. We're going to use that to our advantage. So you guys come up here. We should clear this area, take down the only warp in Colossus in the history of the universe. Got it. And keep moving. Lots of depots. It's all going mildly well. That looks like a ceiling wave to me. I saw a High Templar there. I'm going to send these guys up forward to absorb the storm. Nice. Not a ceiling wave, just a regular wave. That's a ceiling wave. It's a cool composition. I'm gonna be completely honest, I like this a lot. It's, uh, not good at dealing damage, but it is neat. Just having all these little spawn guys coming out everywhere. Let's go get the bonus objective while we are in this neighborhood. Kinda lost the Prometheans idea. They're just a little bit too in the way with all the little spawny things. Push this, take this down. Oh, I can't even get in there. Take this out. Can a Roche at least get through this? Perfect. Oh, the Void Rays. Here, uh, take my sacrifice. It's a Mito Scarab. You love these things. They're your favorite. There you go. Yeah, those are yours. Please don't follow me. <laughs> we got the first container. Great job, buddy. So we got sensor vision. Let's uh, drop another sensor tower like right here, just for sensor vision. They can have that. We're just going to play the canister game too. We can do this. Nice and slow. We have defenses over here. We have a lot of stuff over here. This is not a great army. <laughs> I could really use a medic. Something like a medic would truly be great right now. Just to help me out. Because uh, we, we are lacking in the durability sector now, but I guess medics would go out of energy really quick, but whatever. I still think they'd be nice. We have so much random biological junk. If we alter the shutdown, set us back further. Don't worry, bud. To get some of your boys out there and stop them. Trying my best. We don't need we don't need all of it. As much as Tosh gets angry. I think we need to stop with the scantipede production. Let's uh, make some pigalisks. And now maybe we can get a couple. Oh, uh, that's an attack. Well, this is awkward. We gotta, we gotta engage this before they get over here with their defense wave. Take all this down. Big attack coming in over here. Target, target. Be very careful with their ceiling. Oh gosh. Everything is getting pulled because everything is so big. Oh, this is bad. They're going to get to five seals here. 
They punch through our defenses. Gonna go over here, but at least we can target this guy down and stop him. And we can save this base. We didn't lose too many workers here. And we're losing our mineral fields over here anyway, so we can replenish. Get some mercenaries on the job. You guys go get the bonus objective without risking the lives of our great soldiers. Perfect. We're just gonna do this nice and slow one at a time. Super, super careful. Apparently they did not like that. Scantipede is my savior. I love him. I never thought I'd feel so attached to a Scantipede. He's my favorite creep though so far. This is a Whoa, these are quick. 4.44 speed? Where are you going, bud? You shall not steal the wreck of creation so easily. Careful. They're sending their ships to take out your SCVs. Shoot them down quick or we're finished. Oh gosh, they have Colossus there too. You know what? We don't need that base. This is awful. Get you guys attacking up here. We, uh, we're kind of at a build your own choke point convention with the size of our stuff. Which is interesting. Not in a good way. Okay, take these down. Then we're gonna bring you up and over. They've sealed off five geysers already. Okay, we got four, then we need to get that one and that one, and we will defend those with our entire selves. They're gonna send a guy over here. We're gonna keep getting scantipedes. Here's their defense wave. Take it out. And then we're gonna bolt to the right because that is the only place where, yeah, the ceiling waves will come. All the SCVs. Warning. Oh, that's an attack wave too. These go this way. No pathing. Oh. oh, that is such a big force too. Where's the last one? Right there. Maybe we forfeit this one and then go for this one. We'll let them cleave this way through the bases uh, and bring all the SCVs over here. We can do this. It's going to be close. We can make it work. Fortunately, their defense waves got a little bit segmented. Do not that stuff get pulled. There's only one altar left in the entire map. This is not something I'm built for. I'm not used to this. Uh, oh, that attack's coming over this way. Not so happy with that. Okay, he's done. You and your we don't have to win. We just have to live. We just need one more canister. Get the SCVs into the fight. Here comes their ceiling wave. Take this down. Oh, I just attacked my own Ursidon. On top of the Colossus. What do we have? 42 supply, 54 total units. Stop them. Land it. Just live. Just live. <laughs> this mission is so hard. <laughs> Oh my goodness, pull back a little bit, pull back. It's a lot of stuff, but they don't do the bonus damage that they should. So they're taking a long time to punch through. That's gonna save us, it's gonna save us. Come on, buddy. <laughs> yes. Parasitic Scantipede. 
What a legend. Let's go check what the upgrades are for all these things. Uh, obviously, Parasitic Scantipede is my best unit currently, so we're going to have to uh, grab the mercenaries for them. Because uh, when I say best, I mean they, they hit air. <laughs> and I don't want to spam the Ascendant on every single mission. Right? That's boring. Uh, yeah, definitely. Spartan Company. Parasitic Scantipede. Uh, we can... Oh, we can check out the laboratory. There's so many new things. How exciting. Automated refinery or... Com Command centers gain the ability to deploy temporary sentry bots at target location. Have a 60 second duration. Do not cost supply. Or auto gas. This is more fun. Heck yeah. Auto gas obviously is incredible. But uh, that's not what we're here for. We're here for sentry bots. And then... Unit gains 20... Shields equal to 20% of its max life. That's actually pretty good. Deal bonus damage to light and set the target on fire. Oh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have the best unit ever. And then... All right, guys, I'll see you on the dig. Thank you for watching. We can't win the dig. Not with this. It's impossible. How do we win the dig? <laughs> oh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.